Hello everyone and welcome to this GeoTime workflow demonstration. Here we're going to take a look at using data from Celebrite's UFED logical extraction system. The data we're going to be looking at was extracted from a BlackBerry Curve device. The extraction provided us with a number of different directories and files. The ones that we're going to be looking at today are going to be the image directory as well as the GPS directory. Both of these contain geographical information. What we're interested in doing is being able to use this geographical information to create a movement path or trail over time so we can see the movement of the mobile device. Our first step is going to be to open up the GPS folder. Within this folder we're going to find location.xml. This XML file will contain all of the locations that have been stored on the mobile. Now that we've located this file, we simply need to drag and drop it into Excel. Excel is going to create a schema for us and put the information into columns. Here we have the time in which the location was recorded, as well as the lat long coordinates. GeoTime needs the lat long coordinates to be broken out into separate columns, so we're going to use a simple formula in Excel that's going to allow us to extract that information. I simply need to use the mid formula, which is going to allow me to extract just the lat and just the long from my coordinates column. Here you can see I've extracted just the long coordinates. I'm going to do the same thing for the lat coordinates here by using the mid function. Now that I've got the coordinates broken out into lat long columns, I can simply use the GeoTime add-in for Excel to send this data across to GeoTime. Once it's been brought into GeoTime, we need to tell GeoTime how the date and time columns are set up so that it knows how to import the events. Let's go ahead and create a new data mapping. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to name our data mapping. This way we can reuse this mapping for future logical extractions. To start with, I'm going to assign the time column. This is the when column in our data set. But you can see that GeoTime still is warning us that the format is not set correctly. By clicking on formats, we can now go through and set up how the data has been formatted. Here, we simply need to add a text character in between the date and time, and it is now read correctly into GeoTime. GeoTime allows for flexible formatting of date and time. The lat long has automatically been detected by GeoTime and we simply want to use one entity for all of these events as we know that it was only one mobile device that the extraction came from. Once we've set up our data mapping, GeoTime will show it here in green. Then we simply need to click import and GeoTime will import all of the locations from our mobile extraction. Each one of these red dots represents a moment in time where the mobile device had location information. This could be from GPS or from cell tower locations. What this allows us to do is to do animated playback of our data. Let's go ahead and see what that would look like. I'm going to press play and GeoTime is going to play back all of the locations that have been recorded by my mobile device. I can now get a sense of where the mobile device traveled during a period of time. The second bit of location information is found within the photos taken from the mobile. What we're going to do is we're going to open up that folder which contains all of the images. To do this, I'm going to go into my logical extraction directory from the BlackBerry curve. I'm going to choose files and I'm going to choose image. These are going to be all of the images associated with that phone. Within GeoTime, I'm going to choose folder of photos and this is going to allow me to open up the images as well as their geolocation information. In order to do this, I'm going to use the general XIF images mapping. 
you'll notice that GeoTime is going to throw up a warning here listing it in red as the first few images do not have geographical information associated with them. The next step is going to be to make sure that I have my merge events checked on. This way I'm going to maintain all of the data that I've already imported. Let's go ahead and import that and here we can see the images that have been brought in to GeoTime. I now have the image, the location that they were taken, as well as the time. So again, I can get an animated playback of where the mobile was taking these photographs. GeoTime can be used for doing trend and movement analysis, as well as looking for patterns and meetings of interest between different individuals. Thank you for watching and be sure to check out the other GeoTime workflow demonstrations on our YouTube channel.